All right, this time on the driver's corner, we're gonna unbox some of the new parts that are going on the Corvette. Stay tuned. So it's been a little while since I posted. I've been really busy. I was taking my daughter off to college in Florida and working on some other little bits and pieces for my business. And so the Corvette kind of took the back seat and I was just driving it. So I didn't have a whole lot to talk about. And then recently I got a wild hair and I started ordering a bunch of parts for the Corvette. So I know a couple of months ago I posted a video saying, hey, what mod should I do next? And a lot of you guys reached out and told me what you would do. I went ahead and bought some of those things and then I found some other bits and pieces thanks to some other YouTubers that I thought would be awesome on the Corvette as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the two things that I'm most excited about and then I have another set of items coming that I'll also talk about. So as always, I am currently just buying all my own parts. So uh, yeah, no sponsors. So this is all just me money going out there and I'm really, really, really excited about uh, the stuff that I've decided to do to the Corvette and you'll kind of get an idea of what I feel like the car is going to look like and drive like when I'm done. So let's get right to it. Actually, this one was super inspired by Project Dirty here on YouTube. Uh, check out his videos. He basically does uh, a bunch of stuff that I would like to do to my Corvette, but he does it like maybe two months before I get there. So uh, shout out to Project Dirty and check out his YouTube channel if you get a chance. So if you know um, if you know that channel at all, then you'll probably know, because of this right here, what I am talking about. So I bought a new steering wheel, and I haven't opened it yet, so I hope this is right. And I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing, and hopefully I'm not gonna damage my new steering wheel. So the steering wheel I bought is a Sparco steering wheel. I chose a 350. I was looking for a 355 millimeter, uh, as Matt Farah said that it was way better than the 350, but I really couldn't find a good Sparco, so maybe a Momo or something would be in a 350. But I also was being a little bit of a, um, I don't know, I was being a little fancy or bougie here because I wanted a, I wanted a, a steering wheel that still matched my interior. And so uh, the other thing I've noticed is a lot of people that put a steering wheel in a car that they drive on the street, they're also putting uh, the steering wheel in that has the uh, Alcantara or the, the suede. And for me, um, I've done that before in a dedicated race car and like instantly I got that thing so dirty that I decided to go ahead and order a leather wrapped uh, Sparco steering wheel because I knew that I was going to be driving this thing on the street. So hold on one second. All right, so this is it. My car is red, as you guys know. So it's got this red uh, centering mark on here, which is really cool. And then it also has the, the Sparco logo in red. I'm not a huge fan of the white, um, this, this white section there. And I may, I may go ahead and either uh, put some vinyl wrap on that, like I may do some pinstriping or something to cover that, or I may not care once it's in. But yeah, this is, um, oh man, this thing is gonna look sweet in the car. And man, it just feels and looks so much better. Like the, the edges of this, um, while they're, it's not a super um, contoured steering wheel, it's it's just got a good even grip all the way around and it doesn't have the big bulky kind of nasty airbag uh, four prong deal in the center so it's really going to go with my seats i think pretty nicely and i'm really excited about that so what i also you know i do most of my stuff on a budget this was um a used item it was a return that i found on ebay so somebody I guess just returned it and didn't want to use it. And so now I paid about $30 less than you buy a brand new one for. So if I talk to you guys about my, um, my costs at the end of this, then they, they may not a hundred percent, uh, be what, 
you would spend on retail. I also got the steering wheel. I consider it to be a pretty good deal. Somebody else might think that this was pretty expensive, but I got this steering wheel for $234 shipped, or $224, sorry, $224.50. Yeah, the other one was $234 and I bought this one for $224. So $224 plus the $88 um, center. So I'm a little over $300, like $302 or whatever it ended up being in my steering wheel setup. I am gonna retain my factory steering wheel and airbag that way. Most of the time when I do a mod to a car, I will sell the other parts and uh, recoup some of my money back, but I'm not gonna do that on this instance because uh, I do wanna be able to, if I ever sell the car or whatever, give it away, I want to be able to give somebody the safety item. So, but I am super excited about this steering wheel. The construction looks really good. Um, I don't think that this is one of those things that you should skip out on a steering wheel. I bought a car once that had a cheaper brand steering wheel in it and it you could basically fold it in half. Uh, so this one was manufactured this year and it was made in Italy and I am super pumped. Next thing I'm gonna show you is something that I'm even more excited about than the steering wheel somehow. And I found those locally and you're about to find out. That's right, everybody. The next thing that I'm gonna be doing also, wow, there's so many things, that, there's so much stuff that I bought for the car. So it, this is like, um, definitely this season is I've got the Corvette Creations wide body fender kit. They're not the ZR style. So these are the ones that are a little bit more molded. You can kind of see how it, it's um, a smoother transition, not such a hard lip on there. But these are a two inch extension over the factory fenders. Uh, they're pre-drilled. So they got holes, hopefully fitment won't be that bad. And I am going to, I'm gonna paint these myself. So you guys are gonna to get to see me uh, prep and paint these fenders. They are gonna need a lot of prep work. And I'm not, I'm not dogging on Corvette Creations at all. Um, it's just, you know, there's molding. Um, you know, there's a lot of molding marks and stuff. They need extreme um, primering and sanding to look really good on the car. And I will say like the C5 Corvette in general, there are some thin spots in my factory fenders where I can see the weave on the uh, on the fenders and on the doors from the factory. Uh, these ones don't have weave showing. So it's more like molding marks and areas that are just gonna really need to be filled in with primer and then finish sanded very nicely. So you can kind of see the, the back side. Um, has you know the mat uh, laid up and it looks like there's a couple layers here and it's very well constructed I mean it's not flimsy at all you can kind of see these are um, I'd say very similar in quality to the uh, strength if not more strong <laughs> than what I've seen on the, the factory fenders so these guys right here are gonna be um, I'm gonna start laying these up and getting them prepped for paint. And those will be going on the Corvette in the super near future. My other one's over there somewhere, there it is, on the boat. So these are coming up as well. So I'm really, really pumped about that. I'm gonna go ahead and order, I think 19 by 12 Grand Sports to go on the Vet. I've got 19 by tens or ten and a halfs on the back right now so they're definitely going to need a little bit more poke and i don't really want to run spacers because this car will see track time so 19 by 12s on the black grand sports like i have now i'm going to do the sparco steering wheel i've already got those budget race seats in there and the other thing that i went ahead and ordered for the visuals on the outside i'm still looking for a lip i'm in some talks with uh, a couple different companies that may be helping me out and sending me some parts for some videos, but um, I bought the track spec T1 hood vent kit. I'll put a picture up here. You can see what that looks like. And I am super excited about getting that on the car and just kind of giving my Corvette just a little bit more character. And I think that between the 19 by 12s in the back, these fenders, my interior being on point, with the seats and the, um, I did some 
uh, boots. Like I, re I put new uh, stitched boots in there on the parking brake and the gear shift lever. So I really think the whole car is really starting to come together and I couldn't be more excited. And the other things that I have going on with the car are gonna be, I mean, they're not exciting, but they're exciting to me. I got the Z06 shocks uh, for the suspension. I got new, uh, I'm gonna do a video on DIY lowering bolts. So I went and sourced and found the stuff that I needed locally to do a little bit more of a drop in the back. So I'm gonna to try to get the back of the car sitting a little bit lower than it currently is. I'll pop a picture up here. You can kind of see that the back end sits a little bit higher than I'd like it to. So those lowering bolts, I'm gonna put on the Z06 shocks, all that mess that I just showed you. And then on top of that, I need to do some regular maintenance like the oil pressure sensor. And uh, I'm gonna do intake gaskets and other things. And if I get really, really, really saucy, then I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, throw a mild cam in there while I have uh, the top end apart uh, to do the um, to do the oil pressure sensor. So again, I really, really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. I am so thankful. I had a hundred subscribers last month, and that is awesome. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the love and uh, and I just want to remind everybody uh, about the giveaway that I'm doing when I hit 1,000 subs. So I'm going to show you that too, just in case you missed that video previously that I did. Like. I don't know, forever ago. So I'm gonna show you that and hope you'll get excited about that. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. In case you missed my previous video where I said that I was gonna do a giveaway at 1,000 subs, this is, woo, about smash that fender. At 1,000 subs, this is what I'm giving away. This is a Simpson race suit. So I bought this for myself. It's brand new in the bag, folks. It is a size XL, so you got to be a big feller like me. But this is a fire suit. It's FIA rated. This thing was over $600 when I bought it. And I'm going to send this to a lucky subscriber. So uh, when I hit a thousand subs, I will ship out this $600 Simpson Race Products fire suit to somebody's house. You're gonna love it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I, I hope you're as excited about the mods that I'm doing to my car as I am. If you um, want, subscribe, comment below. I'm doing my best to respond to everybody who messages me. So thanks again. See you on the next one.